Hey y'all, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to show you how to use a kitchen scale to figure out the yardage in a partial ball of yarn so that you know if you have enough yarn to complete your project. We're going to assume for the purposes of this video that you know what this yarn is, that it's not mystery yarn. And in this case, it is Big Twist Soft. This is the same yarn, it's just in a different color. So you're going to want to get the yardage and the weight in grams from the label but you can also get it from the manufacturer's website if you don't have the label or yarn with the label. So the information you're gonna have is you're gonna have the weight of the full ball of yarn, and then you're gonna have the yardage of the full ball of yarn, and you're gonna have the weight of the partial ball what you're not going to have, the question mark, is the yardage of the partial ball. And there's a simple two-step math problem that you can do to figure out this information here. First, you're going to want to weigh the yarn that you have. And in this case, I don't know if you can see this, but in this case, it is 100 and... 17 grams, so I'm going to have 117 grams here. I have the weight of the full ball, which is 170 grams. I have the yardage of the full ball, which is 320 yards. And then the information I don't have is the yardage of the partial ball. So it's a two-step math problem. Step one is to multiply these two numbers together and get my calculator. It works out to 37,440. So this is step one. And then step two, you're just going to take that answer and divide it by the number you didn't use last time, which is the 170. And that equals 220 and some change. But that's going to give you that you have 220 yards in this partial ball of yarn. So the formula is basically going to be step one. You multiply the full yardage times the partial weight. And step two is going to be you're going to divide your answer by the full weight. And that's going to give you the partial yardage. You always want to make sure you're using grams, not ounces. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, I would appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and would consider subscribing before you exit my channel. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope to see you next time. Bye.